Done, yes. ready to go. Lachlan Grant, welcome to 1041 Territory FM, sir. Thank you, Matt. We've known each other now for about three years. I think you're a good guy. Oh, cheers, mate. You haven't ended up in jail or broken a leg from snowboarding or done anything dodgy. You're a very straight up guy. Well, you I did break my leg snowboarding, actually. When? Um, back in Canada. I broke my knee and hip at the same time. Couldn't tell. <laughs> Still fighting fit. All right, so you've been based uh, for a little while now down at Alice Springs. You got yourself a teaching gig. Yeah, man, I've been teaching at a couple of the schools down there and been settled into one for the past year. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going good. Do they respect the music teacher kids? Do they do that? Um, yeah, I think the kids do like music, which is good. But, um, yeah, no, it goes well. Do they, they respect respond to you? It. Do they respect you? Because I never respected my music teacher. Really. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel welcomed in the environment, put it that way. You're welcome. So you've been down there and you've been playing a lot down in Alice Springs, haven't you? I have been playing lots, yes, making music and trying to keep busy creatively. Yeah. So through our you know, communication and interviews and drive up live performances when you come up here in Darwin, uh, we were Lachlan Grant, we then changed our name to Splendor Soothe, which I thought was very <laughs> sassy. And now we've dropped the Soothe. It's just Splendor it's now. Just splendor. Um, the idea, I guess, is to try and create a brand for the music and um, something to Get rid of the ego, you know. And oh, I thought Sooth had maybe too much sugar in it or something. Well, I don't know. It's just a bit long. I thought Splendor, just <laughs> short and simple, you know, eight letters, at, you know, four on each side yeah. on the logo. It just it balances out. All right, so we don't have an identity crisis anymore. It's just Splendor. Just Splendor. All right, and during your downtime in Alice Springs, you've actually got an album in the bag. Yeah, I've been working on an album for probably about three years now. I started writing it when I was over in Canada. <clears throat> and when I broke my leg snowboarding, yeah. I just decided, gee, I'm living at a ski resort. What else can I do? Well, I'm going to write some music. Did you have any idea of what type of product you were going to put out? No. <laughs> no, I was just... Was there a particular direction you were aiming for? Were you putting all your stories together into one little long pipe? Um, well, it was quite hard. We went very introverted, went very deep within, and I guess, I don't know, I feel like this is my best music yet. It's you, mature. Cause from, what I, from what I hear about you, you were, about three years ago, you were a bit harder. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, sort you can of feel that. Yeah, you softened up in your old age. <laughs> Got a bit more folky. I don't know. No, I'm not too sure. It's um, it's it's just it just goes where the muse needs to go. You know. What's your take on the album? I love it. I'm really really. <laughs> What's it say? I'm really proud of it, and it's something I'm really really keen to promote. And I, yeah, I really think people will get a kick out of listening to it. What's on it? Twelve songs. Yeah. Um, there's two being played on Freshman at the moment, yep. thanks to you, Matt. Um, one of them is not even released, so yep. you know, a little bit of a premiere special for Territory FM, because you're awesome. Um, but yeah, Pristine is the first single, um, four minutes long, roots rock, sort of a reggae, upbeat, ska style rhythm. It's a long story. In a nutshell, what's the song about? Um, song sort of about... I tried to catch it. Um, Growing up in isolation yeah. and then breaking free from whatever it is holding you there and finding your pristine, perfect place. <laughs> it sounds too deep for me. <laughs> Do all these thoughts like just just kind of get stuck in your head and the only way to get them out is to write them on a bit of paper? Or yeah, yeah. Music's always been like a filing system for me. Do like, you have like a, a sleeping issue or...? <laughs> um, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> certainly, yeah. And it starts with a lyric, it just, it just, it just flows. And then it's, it's all messy and then you kind of yeah, put I, it back together again. I, I usually write a poem and then you know, I get the words together yeah. and what I get the mood and the message and, and then yeah, I start to get on the guitar and see where it takes me, you know. You've got to feel it to get the sound to come all out right. right. So know. Pristine doesn't have what you'd call a usual hook. Don't you reckon? Or a chorus. Well, it's got a chorus. Yeah, it's it's quite long, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's a story song. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just sort of... So a different. So, do you attack songs like that throughout all your songs, or each song has its own kind of different structure? Well, I find question I've got for you. Every song, kind of, what I try and do with every song is yeah. something that I've never done before. Yeah. Like I try and come up with a different finger picking pattern on the guitar, yeah. or sing an, in a different style of rhythm, um, syncopation. I just try and explore music. That's what songwriting is for me, just an exploration of creativity. Will the song evolve from being really bad to being actually quite good? Oh yeah, like um, Father's Second Son actually, yeah. the one that's being played alongside Pristine on yeah. Freshman. Yeah. Um, I wrote that when I was 17 okay. and it was messy, yeah. And I recorded it about five times and to be honest, it's finally there. We yeah. finally arranged it right and I'm happy with it and it's, I believe it's stronger than yeah. Pristine. So yeah, it's my, I thought it was, yeah, I'm not too sure, it's the second. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're getting me. Delete that. <laughs> I, I've got him. I've got him with a good one. It's all right. Uh, so the album's out a little bit later. You're just kind of just finishing it off, shining it up, and then it gets released. Well, it's been produced. We recorded it with um, bootleg recording. Um, yeah. Joey Clarenbeck played the drums. If anyone knows him, he's awesome. Yeah. And then... Basically, it got mixed and mastered. It got mixed by a fella called Cole Nystrom over in California. Yep. And then passed on to his friend Alex DeYoung to get mastered. Mm. So it's been worked on by some pretty pretty decent gurus, I would sounds call. Sounds like your album's a bit of a floozy, mate. It's been hanging out with everyone. <laughs> well, it, it sounds... I don't know. You've got you've yeah. to do it right to get the yeah. sound right, you know? Okay, no problem. Uh, so this will come out hopefully a little bit later. Well, you can pre-order it. It's all on my website. Yeah. You can have a little wee snippet and have a sneak peek. It's got about 30 seconds of each song. You can go through and a little of a show reel. I'm trying to sort of grow my web presence at the moment yeah. and get a, get the Spotify platform happening and YouTube. So as I put the more tracks out, there's more people ready to hear it. I feel like if I just drop the whole album now, no one's really going to care because they don't know who I am. So I think it. I feel like now it's a singles game in, right. in music. It's no one's sort of got the patience to listen to an album yep. anymore. But if you can lure them in with a couple of singles, then maybe they oh, will. Fishing. And I feel like this this album's it's very much a concept yep. album. It, it, it's got to be listened to in, from start to finish. Yep. Like I grew up listening to like Chili Peppers, Pink Floyd, Neil Young. These guys that really put effort into the album itself yeah. and didn't just write songs and glue them together and go, hey, yeah, we got an album. Yeah. You know, it's a story. It's it's a it reflects a time of the life you know like for me from 25 to 28 like that's a i went through a pretty deep quarter life crisis i reckon um and this this music came out of it you know and yeah any of your ex-girlfriends on this album yes uh this so. yeah there's a last time too. yeah they, <laughs> they, they still inspire me <laughs> <laughs> but it's not about them personally you know oh. it's it's about writing a story that others can relate to right. you know okay and yet what i've always had respect for you you always go hard at it yourself like when it comes to your music if it's not um, bouncing around Australia doing gigs ringing up community radio stations and having a chat to them uh, right down to your social media and your Spotify presence you you, you learn and you've you got it. to you've got to like I've learned a lot about marketing in the past couple of months yeah. just because I realized how expensive it was to hire people to help and I just figured, gee, you know, I'm, I'm a teacher, I've, I've done a music degree, I can learn, I can learn this stuff. I've just got to sit down and work it out. What's frustrating is that I don't have time to, to play and write songs, but I really feel like if I can get this album out there, it'll create a platform where maybe I can generate some revenue off Spotify and streaming, because streaming is the future. You know, people don't want to download songs and store on their hard drive anymore. It's just too much of an effort. Instant you know? access. And the thing with, with streaming, you know, it's like Swiss dollars. Um, what do they call it? It's like... It's a Bitcoin. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's some, some slogan it stands for. It's yeah. like, um, sales while I sleep soundly. Oh. So <laughs> I was watching this. I've been, I signed up to this online course where yeah, it yeah. teaches you how to market yourself yeah, on, yeah. on all these platforms. It is really good. Right. Yeah. Um, so basically, I want to try and gain some revenue from all the streaming that happens online because... It, it, they do pay. You've just got to got to get get your platform sorted and make sure that you're represented properly. So I've been saying you've been stuck in Alice Springs for a little while, but you've, you've made that as your home. Well, I it's as good as what they say. Mate, Alice is it's like I don't know. It's a spiritual magnet. Yeah. It, I really feel grounded there. Yeah. I I got to get away. Like I just I left a couple of days ago and come up to Darwin. I mean that was it was great. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to going back just yet, but I there will come a time when yeah you need to get back to Alice and just let your hair down and just reflect on what's going on. The pace of life is so much slower. I mean, Darwin's pretty slow, but yeah. Alice is slower. <laughs> is that a good thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For you, it is. It's all right. You know, well, I'll, be, I'll be down there to visit you uh, very soon. We're taking the camper down, and we're going to see Uluru. Oh, really? Have you ever played on top of Uluru yet? Mate, yes. No, I haven't. <laughs> I've never, never, never climbed it. No. <laughs> Hey, good luck with the, the record, the album. I know you've worked really hard on it, and good luck for 2018 and beyond. Thank Thanks you. for visiting us again. Cheers, mate. I got heaps there, buddy. Cool. Bye bye. <laughs> cool. I got heaps. I'll cut that up. I'll get rid of the big. Yeah, get, get rid of that.